Awesome. Awning. <laughs> <laughs> so I received a question about the PVC pipe on the roof of my car. It's an awning. I'll show you what it looks like. So inside this PVC pipe, there's a tarp with pipes inside of it. The pipes create the frame and the tarp goes on top of the pipes. So I'll take this apart here and I'll show you what it looks like inside. So I got this trailer hitch pin that comes out. I take the lid off of here. There we go. And one moment. There we are. Got this whole tarp in here. There we go. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna unravel the tarp here and show you what's inside. So I've got paracord that's wrapping this whole tarp up because I would find that sometimes when I was pushing it into the PVC pipe, it would get caught on some of the bolts. And I'll show you those in just a second. The bolts are used to uh, hold the tarp and the pipes in place on the roof of the car. So I'll just unravel this. So, because this is a little bit difficult to set up by yourself, I'm going to have my partner in crime, my brother Joe, uh, help me put this all together. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all set up. So, on the PPC pipe, we have bolts built into it. Those bolts hold the pipes and the tarp. The pipes connect together to create a larger frame that hold the tarp. We've got tent bands here to hold the tarp in place, as well as some paracord that connects to some tent spikes. Um, so the pros of this is you can cook out underneath here if it's either too sunny or if it's raining, uh, you can stay dry underneath here. The cons, however, are that the whole structure can't stay upright without the tent spikes being in place. So you have to be somewhere that has uh, dirt or some soft ground material. You can't be in the city somewhere and set this up. Um, and then another con, is that rain will collect here and so you have to push it off either this way or that way if you push it off this way it rolls down the, the, the roof of the car uh, over the front but so that's not a big deal but when the rain collects underneath your car it risks getting stuck in the dirt and so you really don't want that to be happening and you can push it off this way which would solve that problem but I kind of like having this side raised because the closer you are to the car the lower it is to your head so I like to have this side raised just so I can move around better and then finally, it takes two people to put together. Um, you can put it together by one person, but it's very difficult. You have to be paying attention to multiple poles at once. It's much easier to have two people to put it together. But besides that, it's a wonderful thing to have in the middle of a rainy day, or like if you're camping out and it's sunny, and you don't have any shade, maybe you're in the desert or something. It's really nice to have this set up so you can just chill out outdoors. Um, so if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, other than that, have a great day. Take care. One thing I forgot to mention while making this video is I got inspiration for this build by a YouTuber called Mimi. I'll have a link for her YouTube channel in the description below.